What do you remember, especially from these? You know, you guys won three times last year. What do, what do you remember, especially from those games? Um, they're a good team. They're going to compete hard. Um, uh, we're not really focused on last year and what happened. And it's a new year. Um, they're a better team. They're they're really good. They're number one in the country for a reason. And we're just going to go out there and play our game and, and compete. What's your impression of how the defense has gotten better this year? Um, I feel like our, our team has made strides as a whole um, to pick up our defense, um, especially getting help and helping on one another because that's what our defense is based off of. We're not strictly man to man and no help or really trying to get in gaps and disrupt um, driving lanes and everything like that. And I feel like in the past couple games, we really um, made strides in um, picking that up. Does that kind of differ from Howland's philosophy the last couple of years in terms of his man defense? Um, no, not really. I mean, um, I feel like like defense is is really is really based on help. You know, you can't leave one of your teammates out to be um, by themselves on an the island when a player's trying to take them one on one. You got to be in the gap so they can trust that um, they're not worried about getting beat because help is going to be there. And I feel like Coach Allen and Coach Alfred um, both have always touched on that. How big of a statement win would this be uh, for the program as a whole if you guys are able to pull it off on Thursday? Um, I feel like it's going to be really big. It's going to set us up to for where we want to be um, in the conference and what we want to do um, going forward, and that's our focus. How do you kind of um, how do you take advantage of their size? Do you just try to speed up the game? Is that the the ideal way to deal with that? Or um, well, I haven't. We haven't went over that yet. Um, it's going to be our first day officially going over Arizona. Mm. Um, Coach gave us the day off, and so this is going to be first day going over what we want to do and how we're going to stop them and what our plan of attack is, and, and we'll go from there. How important is Nick Johnson to what they do? Um, he's a really good player. He, he really is probably their glue guy. He really mm. um, gives them energy, and um, he's athletic. He scores the ball. He shoots the ball well. Um, um, he's, a, he's a good player. Against USC, you guys played well in all aspects of the game except for possibly the falls. But uh, how much of a momentum was that going into this game, knowing you know you got the USC game under your belt? Now it's time to buckle down and get ready for uh, Arizona. Um, um, it was really big. You know that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to start off um, conference play with a win, um, with a big statement win, um, since we were um, a team only playing one one game in the opening of the conference. And I feel like we did that, and now we're just looking forward to um, taking on Arizona one game at a time. So. That's our focus right now. Is there any extra nerves or, uh, you know, just kind of that, that <coughs> antsy feeling uh, knowing it, you know, ESPN nationally ranked game, number one in the country, comes into your house. Like, how does that do for your mindset as far as uh, leading up to the game and sleeping the night before the game? Um, it, just, it gets you more focused. You're just focused, you know. Um, I feel like a lot of us on this team is really excited for this game and really um, looking forward to the challenge of taking on the number one um, team in um, the nation. And, um and just getting ready for them. That's our main focus, and that's what we're doing. We're just looking at Arizona right now. So we're ready. How, how important is it that you guys kind of get out and transition, especially if they have those big guys that can kind of clog up the paint? Um, I feel like it's really important. You know, that's what we do. That's why we've been scoring the way we've been scoring. That's why we're averaging so many points is um, being able to get out and transition. So I feel like like that's going to be a, a, a part of what we do it, um, from here on out with um, Coach Alfred as our coach. So um, it's one of our focuses, definitely. Did USC kind of feel like a step forward, you know, all around for this team? Yeah, definitely. I feel like like we really um, try to compete and um, do what we needed to do. You know, um, I feel like this team is really coming together and really focusing on what Coach Offer is saying and what he um, wants our focus is to be on the court, playing a full 40-minute game and not just one half. You know, not just a four-minute game that he has set up for us. You know, it's really playing throughout the whole game and, and finishing it off. And I feel like that's what we did. How many times have you been able to see Arizona play this year, maybe on film or live, or not live, but uh, like on an ESPN, ESPN game, ESPN 2, how many times have you been able to see them? Um, about three or four times, you know, um, watching them in the um, tournament in New York um, when they played Duke, Alabama and them, and Drexel. Um, they're a good team, you know. Um, um, we're just ready for them. That's pretty much what it, what it is. Have you picked up any weakness that possibly, you know, you guys are really – a lot better at it that you could possibly exploit them on that maybe one weakness they have on that team. Um, well, I'm, I'm we're going to go over what, what coaches see. You know, it's not what I see and, and what other players see. It's what the coaches see and what he wants us to execute. So um, that's what we're going to be doing um, when we go to film and talking about what we want to do.